you are not going to believe what I'm going to show you today. I promise you, you are going to be amazed with this editing software, which is just for portrait photographers. And you are going to be able to reach magazine level photography editing, even if you are a beginner. I mean, I'm blown away with this software and you are going to love it. And for those who are not new here, you noticed that I have a different setup today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I moved Villa here in Bali, finally. And I have to share this with you because I'm very happy. I was struggling so much to record in my other villa with 30 30 degrees because the living room was open and now in rainy season the mosquitoes were eating me alive so finally I have creative space so I'm very happy about that I needed to share this excitement with you so let's go to it I'm going to show you how I use this software the software is called Aperty. It's a new release from the guys from Luminar Neo. And you know that I always recommended Luminar Neo on my channel with zero subscribers, okay? So yes, today's video is a sponsor, but you know I've been using this software for many years and now Aperty is just exclusively for photographers like me because I love portrait photography. So I'm going to show you how it works. You can use it as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop and also as a standalone software. This is the best thing ever. Not for me, necessarily, because I love Adobe. You guys know I always do Lightroom, Luminar Neo and Photoshop. We all have different workflows and I love to do it this way and that's it, okay? But since I tried Aperty, I'm using always Aperty. So let's go to it. I took some self-portraits in my new villa to show you as an example, because obviously I'm gonna show you some hardcore details of the skin and my face and I didn't want to expose any of my models, clients, collaborations, I don't find it fair. So I'm exposing myself here. I have massive bags because I didn't sleep properly these days. You can see here my bags. My skin is not the best. I have so many blemishes. So this is the perfect photo actually to show you how Aperty works. This is how I personally launched Aperty because I use Lightroom all the time. So I launched it as a plugin, but you can use it as a standalone as I mentioned before. So if I go to right click, I just have to go here, edit in, Aperty. And this is how it looks, super clean, which I already love. And as you can see here, you have a whole section, beginners, you're going to love this, which is full of presets. So this is super easy, but I highly encourage you to don't use them because you can create your own and you can create your own style and then you can apply it to all the photos. So here you have yours, if you want to create, favorites, because there are plenty, so you can mark them as favorites color, creative, retouch presets, and external, if you add presets as well. But I don't wanna show you this because this is more boring, it's just one click. Here you have the masking tool, then you have cropping as well, so I'm not gonna explain that too much. And then here, I'm not going to explain much, but this is the essentials. So you have everything here to retouch a photo exposure, contrast, highlights, everything you need, all the tools to edit a photo are there already, okay? So this is for portrait photographers, but you are going to be able to do basic edits as well here, not just portrait editing. So then if you go down, this is the fun part for portrait photographers, which is incredible. You go to retouch. So you can retouch people, skin blemish. This is amazing. Face, skin, eyes, mouth, makeup. You can add makeup in your models and then body skin. Now you can smooth the skin of the body as well. So you go to people, by AI is recognizing there is an individual female in the photo. It even recognizes male, teen, child, and elderly. So I'm glad I'm just an individual female for upper T. <laughs> and then let's go here to skin blemish. You're gonna see this, I'm gonna zoom in here and expose my beautiful skin full of imperfections. I have so many imperfections here because I have rosacea in my skin. So blemish removal, if you go up, I'm gonna do it at maximum. Look at this, <laughs> like look the before and look the after. Like what? <laughs> my skin is perfect already with just one slider. So you don't have to keep cloning like I was doing before or with the lasso tool, nothing, one slider. So I don't even think I'm gonna use Photoshop anymore because my third step in Photoshop, it was for these kind of things. So yeah. Anyway, I don't have freckles, but you can remove freckles and then adjust the details. Let's go to face skin. Skin is smooth in, it works very well and very natural. That's what I love about Aperty. 
everything looks natural, no fake, all the retouching. So if you go up, I'm gonna do it a lot. Even if it looks good, don't overdo it anyway. So I'm gonna go lower. I never do more than 30 or 40. And then if you go down, you have face skin color correction, but here is perfect, I'm not gonna touch it. And this is my favorite tool because many times, I mean, I work a lot and now I travel. You know how hard it is for me to keep up with my YouTube videos, my private community, my emails. I do everything myself and I'm traveling a lot in Bali and I'm gonna start traveling around Asia as well. So subscribe to my channel if you want to learn photography and if you like photography vlogs as well about my travels because yeah, 2025 is gonna be packed of those. So yeah, I don't sleep pretty well sometimes or I'm tired and I get these dark circles underneath my eyes. So you're gonna see here, maximum again for you to notice. There you go. It looks like I have concealer, which is great. This is the before. Look at my skin and look now. I wish I would have this skin for real, you know, but this is retouched already. And if you don't want to have a lot of effect, concealer effect, let's say, just put it lower, go to 50, and it's even more natural now, before and after. It's so good. I love it. I'm so happy with the software, seriously. And then you have the same tool as in Luminar Neo, which is called Face Brighten. You can go up a lot and it's gonna mask the face only. And this is one of my favorite tools as well from Luminar Neo that it's now in Aperti as well, Shine Removal. No matter what you do in Lightroom, there is no tool like Shine Removal on Luminar Neo or Aperti. Because I tried in Lightroom to play with the highlights to lower them in the shiny parts of my models because I do a lot of studio photography and it wasn't working as good as Shine Removal in Luminar Neo and Aperti. You are going to see here the shiny parts of my face how they disappear. I'm gonna go maximum for you to notice. There you go. Before, after. It removes all the shiny parts of your face super realistically. Like it looks so natural. But again, naturally, you have always shiny parts on the face. So don't overdo it, do it a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna do 50, something like that. There you go, and it's more natural. Then let's carry on with the eyes. This is like Illuminar Neo as well, okay? But I'm just gonna change the color of my eyes for you to see how it works. I will never do this to any model, really. Nobody wants that. But just so you know it's here, I'm gonna put blue. Look at me with blue eyes. It's good, no? I look good. <laughs> I mean, I prefer my eyes. Always natural, but it's insane how realistic it is. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to my original eyes. And then this I use a lot, the iris flare, redness removal, eye whitening or eye enhancement. The one I use the most is the eye enhancement. For me, it's the most natural one because it accents the cat light of the eye. So you're gonna see here, if I do it a lot, you see, it's not adding anything on top. It's just brightening what it's there already. So don't overdo it. I'm gonna go to 20, more or less. Eye whitening, self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go there. Mouth. So in mouth, you have teeth whitening, which you're not gonna appreciate because to be fair, my teeth are quite white. You're gonna see here, you don't notice much, but it will remove the yellow tint of your teeth. But you're going to see here, teeth brightening. You see how it masked it, but I don't want to do this. So I'm gonna keep it there. And now let's go with makeup. Let's go with makeup here. This is super good as well. I mean, normally I do my makeup anyway, but you can add more blush if you want to your models so they look a bit better and things like that. So I'm gonna add in the cheeks and then you can add in the cheeks and nose as well. So I'm gonna put only cheeks. This is a lot, but you can even play with the width and with the height of the blush. So I'm gonna make it smaller. There you go. And less amount, more natural, like that. And then this is something so many fashion photographers and beauty photographers do is contour the face of the models with Photoshop, with dots and burn, that technique, which takes forever. <laughs> so now with Aperty, you can do it with one slider. This is before. The lighting of the face is a bit more flat and after. It adds shadows to contour the face. So this is super good as well, but I'm not gonna give it here. I'm gonna put zero. Eyeliner, so you can actually put color in your eyes. But well, I'm gonna do it maximum so you can see it. And you can add makeup in your eyes. Look at my face. And look at the transformation 
This is insane. I'm gonna be editing all my portraits in this software. I was super happy because obviously they text me and they told me, Laura, you want to try Aperti? And I was like, of course, I use Luminar Neo. So if Aperti is just for portrait photographers, it's like 100% and I'm super happy. So I'm not gonna use Luminar Neo for now anymore. I do use it for landscape photography as well, Luminar Neo sometimes, but Mostly I do portraits, so it's gonna be my go-to editing software from now on because I love it. And you can bulk edit photos as well. You can create presets and bulk edit all your photos. So you're gonna edit like this <laughs> super quick. So that's amazing. And then if you go here to reshape, this is insane as well. I mean, this is creepy, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna use it. But fashion photographers, beauty photographers, and all the magazines out there, they do this in Photoshop. They reshape legs, necks, eyes, they reshape everything. Don't believe anything you see out there, guys. So now you can do it yourself if you want. You can make your face slimmer. There you go, before, after. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it. The eyes, you can change the shape. You can make them bigger or smaller. The eyebrows arch, there you go. I mean, this is insane. This works, obviously, when you do it professionally and you just want to reach at minor things. So yeah, I'm not gonna carry on because there are so many tools here. Nose bridge, nose tip shape, mouth, the position of the mouth, the body, like Illuminar Neo, you can reshape the body, the abdomen, it's crazy. And then if you go down here, you have another palette here, which is called Creative. And you can play here with creative lighting as well. Light customization, portrait bokeh, like Illuminar Neo, LUTs. This is amazing because obviously you have like LUTs are like presets. So let's go back. This is one, Grace, Long Beach, Manhattan. I love this one, Maria. Look at this photo, like before, after. So beautiful. You just, you just edited the photo, that's it. <laughs> some sliders, some clicks, and that's it. And the photo looks like in a magazine. I'm going to put you another perfect example for you to see, okay? I'm gonna cancel this. Let's edit a different one with a different backdrop. One where you can see my skin quite bad and my bags and blemishes. So let's edit this one. I'm going to go right away to the portrait section, which is here, retouch, blemish removal. That's it. <laughs> no spending an hour in Photoshop, like cloning and, you know, before, after. It's done in one second, seriously. And then skin is smoothing a little bit. Like I said before, don't overdo things. And then dark circle removals. Here you can see pretty well, right? My backs. The lighting does a lot. Here I wasn't facing the light. So when you don't face the light, the light is not filling the shadows. You can see the dark circles, okay? So let's go up 100%. Gone. Before, after. I'm just wearing a concealer right away. And how realistic is this? Look the before. And look the after, it's so realistic. In Photoshop, I would spend an hour and it's not as good. So it's amazing. And then with the eyes, you can see they are a bit dark because I'm not facing the light. So I'm gonna retouch this as well. Let's go to the eyes section and I'm gonna raise the eye enhancement and the iris flare in this situation because my eyes are very dark over there. And I'm going to do one more thing because in Aperity, you have also the essential tools. So I'm gonna go to the essentials tools, which are here, and then I'm gonna go to masking. I'm gonna press plus, I'm gonna select a brush, and I'm gonna paint just a tiny bit there. And I'm gonna rise the exposure a tiny bit, just a tiny bit because otherwise it's fake, there. And this is before applying the mask, and after, you can see my eye better. This is the photo already edited. This is before, look at my eyes, and look up after and my skin, I'm gonna zoom in because I'm just so happy with this software. Before, unlike a model, you see? Before and after. This is insane, seriously. In just a few seconds, if you're a portrait photographer, beginner, professional, this is gonna save you a lot of time, 
And for beginners, you're going to be able to achieve professional results in no time, as you could see here. So you're going to have a link below if you want to check it out. Again, you can use it as a plugin if you already use Adobe, or you can use it as a standalone software. I recommend you to check it out at least, or check the free trial, because you're going to have so much fun with this, and it works incredible for your photos. And if you want to learn more with me, subscribe to my channel because I share weekly videos and check out this playlist I'm gonna put here because you have plenty of videos on my channel about photography and creativity and about tutorials, photo editing tutorials. So I will see you soon. Big love from Bali. Mwah.